Happy holidays, Better Recipes! I am so excited to bring you a very special cooking video this holiday season, sponsored by Cracker Barrel. This award-winning cheese is full of flavor, not itself. This time of year is all about coming together with friends and family, all while enjoying some great food. But there is no doubt the holidays can be stressful. That's why I'm here to provide you not only with some great recipes, but with tips and tricks to get you through the holiday season. Tip number one, when preparing for a party, do as much cooking in advance as possible. Who wants to be stuck in the kitchen when your guests arrive? This leads us to today's recipe, because this can be made up to three days in advance. I'm going to show you how to make a pimento cheese sandwich wreath. Tip number two, if you want your guests to mix and mingle, provide easy to enjoy finger food that isn't too messy. Avoid anything that will stain fingers or requires a knife and fork. Start by shredding one and a half packages of Cracker Barrel Extra Sharp Cheddar Cheese. Now let's make the pimento cheese. This classic spread is always a crowd pleaser. In the food processor, I'm going to blend one cup of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of finely chopped onion, and a half a teaspoon of hot sauce. Next, I have one and a half packages of the fabulous Cracker Barrel Extra Sharp Cheddar Cheese that we already shredded. Now I'm going to add a half a cup of diced drained pimentos. Pulse until just combined. Transfer to a bowl and refrigerate for at least one hour. Or like I said, this can be made up to three days ahead. Tip number three, have a great playlist of your favorite music ready to go for the soiree. Make it a signature blend of your festive favorites. Nobody likes dead air or awkward silences. Now it's time to put together the sandwiches to form the wreath. Here I have two loaves of cocktail bread. One light rye and the other is pumpernickel. The contrasting colors look great, plus it gives your guests a little variety. Simply spread the pimento cheese on the cocktail bread and form sandwiches. This is the fun part, it's time to assemble the wreath. Alternate the light rye and pumpernickel sandwiches in a circle on your serving platter. Garnish with a few sprigs of curly parsley for color, and finally adorn with a big red bow. How easy is that? Your guests will gobble it up and you won't even break a sweat. Thanks so much for watching. For more great recipes and holiday tips, be sure to join our Host the Holidays group. Come to think of it, one last tip before I go. Be sure to put a little extra thought into your wardrobe for the evening. You never know when your New Year's Eve dream date might show up to the party. And I can guarantee he will like your food. Bye, everyone.